When you think of a cowboy, you're probably picturing this. So they would often make the cowboys in the books and the movies white because a lot of white people would not go to see a movie or did not want to read a book about a black cowboy. And so the image of the cowboy got whitewashed. In black folks love country too. Actually, we started the country. We were country before country was cool. So what is a cowboy? It may seem like a silly question, but it's a good place to start. Cowboy was actually a term reserved specifically for black ranchers, slaves. Back in the day, if you saw a white boy that was riding a horse, he was called a cowhand in Texas. And uh, the black guys were called cowboys because they would say, hey boy, go get that cow. Larry knows this history well. He comes from a long line of cowboys himself. My dad was a cowboy. My uncles were cowboys. And everybody I knew in my family were cowboys. And I asked my dad one time when I was about six, he said, Dad, why are the white cowboys? He said, boy, they don't want to do this kind of work. It's like picking cotton. You know, it was a hard job. By 1860, over 30% of Texans were slaves. So the Creek Indians that came over to Spanish Florida, they gave them the name Cimarrones, meaning wild people or runaway. And the name ended up Seminole. So the word Seminole means runaway or wild people. So those people that we call Seminoles, the Spanish government gave them land to live on gave them the state-of-the-art weapons because they needed allies to help hold on to Spanish Florida. But the slaves that had got the message that if you can make it to Spanish Florida, you could, there's a chance you can be free, that's when they started coming over into Florida. We had people from Georgia, Alabama, and South Carolina. Of course, the people that came from South Carolina, today we call them Gullah Geechee people. And these people, we call Gullah Geechee people, came in and settled with the Seminole Indians. The Seminoles made a deal with the black people that they came in contact with. Children with Seminole heritage, like Frederica Cudjo, must rely on grandparents to pass on their unique history. Well, I found out that uh, my grandfather was uh, a freedman in the Seminole. I never knew that. And I never knew that he, you, he used to be, live in Seminole. It says, since his discovery, Negro traits have been found in some South American forest tribes and has led to the belief that Negroes and Australians might have been early migrants to the Americas. You see that? They might have been early migrants to the Americas because they started finding Negroid characteristics in these Mayan Indians. It says Dr. Alfonso L. DeGarry, director of the genetic program of the National Commission for Nuclear Energy in Mexico, says he found Negro characteristics in blood tests of the Lacandon Indians one of the most secluded Mayan tribes in Mexico. Prehistoric skulls were found buried in layers of soil nine to 12,000 years old. They are the oldest skulls in the Americas. And this is the oldest of them all. Her reconstruction is confirmed by measurements Walter Nevis has taken of all his skulls. The first reaction uh, was not to believe in it. But as the results, you know, repeated, repeated, repeated so many times, and the result is exactly the same thing. No similarity at all with Mongoloids in Asia or with American Indians. It doesn't say anything about it being a Mongoloid that has all the features that you associate with a Negroid face. Was this then the face of a first American? That to me is a Negroid face. The first people of the Americas were not the Clovis culture, and now two papers that have been published in the journal Nature have proved it. For many years, the view was that the first people of the Americas entered around 13,000 years ago. 
but as the new studies say, this should actually be around 30,000 years. There have been a handful of sites from Brazil and Chile to the Great Plains of the US, suggesting human activity up to 40,000 years ago. This is from the Post and Courier. It says, were ancient humans here 50,000 years ago? South Carolina discovery reveals people were in region before previously thought and it says people were burning fires at a quarry near the Savannah River as far back as 50,000 years ago. When archaeologists completed an extensive analysis of the Mastodon fossils, they were shocked by what they discovered. An interdisciplinary team of researchers announced that these Mastodon bones date back to 130,000 years ago. The researchers then went on to make an even more stunning assertion. These bones, they claim, also bear the marks of human activity. When I was reading to prepare for this interview, I was quite surprised to see you use the word Aborigines talking about African Americans. South Carolina discovery reveals people were in region 50,000 years ago. The people that came from South Carolina, today we call them Gullah Geechee people. You use the word Aborigines talking about African Americans, African Americans, African Americans, African Americans. 